Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. How is everybody today? Today is June 20th, 2020, and I'm here to show you some finished objects and uh, something that's not working out so well for me at all. And if I remember, I'll attach at the end some pictures I took of what my flowers are doing, some of my flowers are doing. And, uh, FYI, Madonna, Madonna Ballard. <laughs> you guys, I frantically texted, um, Madonna. When was it? Oh, when was it, Madonna? This week sometime. I'm freaking out. I have to get the COVID test because I have to return to work. And we have to get the, now, so, we have to get the COVID test every two weeks, guys. Yeah, and you know, you've all seen it. It's like a Q-tip that's this long. And you know, you've seen it and it's like, oh my God, I don't want them touching my brains. I need my brains. I barely have any as it is. I'm freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, hyperventilating. And then it's like, oh, and at work we have to wear, the, we have to wear masks and glasses. Oh, and it's going to be so hot in the kitchen. I'm like freaking out. Anyway, poor Madonna had to listen to me. I had texted her. <laughs> poor Madonna had to put up with Lisa that night. Thank you, Madonna. <laughs> anyway, it was not that bad. Well, <sighs> what I had to do to get into the building. Oh, my God. It's like, okay, if you guys are just new, I work in a long-term care home and I work in the kitchen. So I had to stand at the door in line. There was a couple people ahead of me. And then I had to, then you have to wait and then you get, then you're allowed in to go into this, this little section here, this glassed area. And then you go, oh yeah. <laughs> you have to take your, te your own temperature. So how do, how do I demonstrate? Okay, so there's this, I've never taken my own temperature. So there's this temperature machine thing, right? So you got to pick it up from its cradle. And then it, then when you pop it up, then on this thing pops up the little caps. So you got to take your thing and go like this and pop a cap on, right? And then you got to stick it in your ear and then you got to push something. Well, oh my God, guys. Do you think I could get the cap on? I couldn't even get the cap on. And so he's behind the, the, the glass. I don't think I told you this, did I? Yeah. Oh. Um, so he's behind the glass telling me, okay, do this, do that. And I'm like, I'm doing it. And then caps are flinging everywhere. And he goes, no, no, you have one on. You have one on. And I go, I do? Because you can't see it. It's, it's a clear cap. And I'm like, I do? And I'm popping it off and trying to... <laughs> I'm... I made, uh, I made a scene as per usual. I got caps everywhere. So anyway, then I'm doing it. Well, it's not beeping. It's not beeping. Then, so I have, to, I have to do it. Then I have to turn it to him so he can look at the temperature through the glass. Well, nothing's coming up. So now, okay, get another cap. Oh my God, this went on for 20 minutes, guys. Me getting caps on, flinging them everywhere. And then me sticking it in my ear, and that's not working. And that, some other guy came. Oh my God, we got it figured out. And I had caps everywhere. I got to pick them up. And I'm, oh, so then, bleh, I got through that. My temperature was, what did I say? Oh, I, 30, did I say 37.9? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyway, he goes, okay. So then, then the door opens, and it's like, uh, it says, when this door opens, do not speak. Do not speak until you have your mask and glasses glasses on. So, door opens. He hands me the mask and the glasses. And there's Lisa the tool. Because <laughs> it's those, oh actually I have, I have a, Stephen bought some of these. It's these type guys. Here, it's these type that we have to wear at work these here things. So you see how there's a blue side and a, and a white side and then, yeah, then there's a strip. 
Well, I had never you I've never used these before, so I'm like, which way's out? Which try not to speak, right? Because I can't speak, I don't have my mask on. So I'm like <laughs> So he said, yeah, and take the metal piece and put out your nose and pinch your nose. Oh my god. So there's my there's my second little fiasco. I'm not even in the main building yet, guys. So, uh, anyway, I got my mask on, I got my goggles on, of course, my goggles, what? I go, okay, anyway, I don't know what that was about, anyway, um, he's very protective over his mask, I guess I was touching it, sorry, I was touching it, I know my hands were clean, anyway, sorry, Eddie Lover. It's alright, no, I just didn't, I didn't think you'd get it back in. Oh, I didn't think I'd get it back in the package because me and my struggling to do anything, even walk issues. Oh, yeah, wait, though. Then they have to ask you before. Okay. Take care of your temperature. Finally got that done. Then he has to ask you a series of, like, freaking, it felt like freaking 100 questions. Then, then the mask and, and the glasses. And then somebody came and got me, took me to another room. Then I gotta fill out my name, blah, blah, blah. And this is all at work, so it's like, why am I filling out this part of the work? Anyway, you already have this information, re whatever. So then I had to go sit in this other chair, and then the guy took my temperature again in my ear, and then asked me a bunch of questions, and then, um, then he goes, well, your temperature is a bit high. It could be because you were, you know, because it's hot as balls here. So uh, we'll do the, the, the swab test and then we'll sit you over there in front of the fan for a few minutes and retake your temperature. So the whole time I'm hyperventilating because I don't want this friggin' and, oh, it keeps growing every time I tell the story, eh, guys? <laughs> Pretty soon it'll be 20 feet long. I don't want this friggin' Q-tip shoved in my brain hole. Anyway, he says... Uh, so you, you have to pull down your mask and then he says, okay, um, breathe, uh, breathe in and then one, two, three, it'll be done. Oh, uh, you had to go, you had to tilt your head like 45 degrees and then it was done guys. So, uh, uh, that's probably why my temperature was so, so high. My heart was racing and oh my God. But anyway, so. I did it, Madonna, huh, wasn't that bad at all, they, yeah, they just go, done, you don't even feel it going in touching your brains at all, not that it does, it just looks that way when you see all the pictures and that, right guys, it's scary stuff, so then I went and sat in the chair, sat in front of the fan, and then he took my temperature in the ear that was at the fan, and I went down, I went to 37.7, because I said, well, what are you supposed to be, he goes, uh, you're supposed to be no higher than 37.8. So I was at 37.9, and then I went to 37.7. So that's my story, guys. Well, that took up all, your whole life, didn't it? <laughs> all right, so if you're still with me and what you're here for, I'm going to show you what I made. So thank you very much to our one and only Alicia from Little John's Yarn. I made her tutorial. Oh, it's heavy. And I am not putting it on for you guys because it's hot as balls again today. It's like, I think it's like 90 Fahrenheit. I think I Googled it before I came on because you guys all know Fahrenheit. Us in Canada, we don't. We know Celsius. But anyway, and the sun is just blaring hot. So it's, that's the temperature, but you, but you are like fried like a fried egg the minute you step outside. Okay, so anyway, back to my story. I used, wait, you wanna see it? Okay, I guess I'll, all right, I'll put it on for you, Stephen, you wanna help me? Okay, I did, I did, I'm sorry. Alicia, I really wanted you to be so proud of me making this, but oh my God, I sewed on things back, oh. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. What? Come over here, please. With the camera. Okay, so this is it, guys. 
Oh boy. Oh, it's hot. Okay, excuse what I'm wearing. Okay, so. Okay, so, and yes, I have ends to sew in because, uh, because I do. So here it is, and it would look better in the winter, obviously, with a pair of black leggings and black high heel boots and et cetera, et cetera. But here it is, and here is, there, so, and I don't have a button. Yes, I got to sew in my ends, and yes, I've made major, 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 Crochet mistakes. I gotta get this off. How does it look? Pretty good. Is it long back there? Yep. All right. So, what's, how's my hood look like? Great. Great. Okay. What do you think, guys? Okay. Let's. Ah, uh, it's hot. All right. So let me tell you my mistakes. Okay. So it's so big, eh? And I'm not used to so I used this guy's in the color burgundy uh, you know remember my I did a big order so I have lots of yarn and I used the homespun that I was gifted by our Karen let's stitch and make Karen Prudence stitch and make up sorry is that right Karen anyway I'll put her link below she gifted me this and remember Karen I, I couldn't use it well I used it are you proud of me or what I used it and it and it's all depends guys it's seriously because people call this hell spun this is uh the, uh the lion brands home spun but people people call it hell spun because well try it and see guys yeah but I use, because this project called for a 6.5 millimeter hook, it was, and this was so much easier to work with. Yes, it was. So I'll tell you where all my mistakes happened. Uh, it was when I was sewing all my pieces together, and where's my front? Where's my back? That's my problem when I sew things together. And, uh... So I had it all together and so do you see how, where am I going here? Yeah, so there's my, yeah, I was every which way but loose. I didn't know when to turn it inside. That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention or something. So when I sewed the hood on, I think I did it wrong. When I sewed the hood on because now, this is the outside of my hood. So I think my jacket now is inside out. Oh, because, well, no, you don't sew it. You don't sew the hood on. You crochet the hood on. But I think I had my work not right side or not wrong side, you know, right side, wrong side. And then I, then I crocheted the hood on. And I think I should have had a hat should have had it the right side or the wrong side and I don't know which side was up in out up the other way and then also so now I'm doing the trim on it and I didn't know which way was up um because yeah I think I I think I started yeah I think that's what happened is it what happened when I started see uh, see this big mess here guys and so I think I crochet, I don't know if I did this right or wrong, or is it just, I don't know. But I think this border I put on, I crocheted my garment. What did I, I don't know. It's either one way or the other. I either did it the right side up or the wrong side up. And however I started, I believe that these two stitches are up, are on my right side of my work that you're going to be seeing, I crocheted this one wrong. I should have done it. Whatever would work out that my right side would match up with my right side. And I think I've got my wrong side matching with my right side. And oh, I totally lost you guys there, didn't I? Anyway, I don't know which way's up, guys, as per usual. So. 
it's done. It's done, no, it's done. So thank you very much, Alicia. That's all. Thank you very much, Alicia from Little John's Yarn for that amazing crochet sweater coat. I will link that in the description box below. So then I wanted something. Am I still here, guys? <coughs> then I wanted um, just something small and quick. This one actually was quick because it is, okay, am I really showing you guys? Because it is like, it's just like the granny, the granny slip, strip, stitch. <laughs> and then you sew, you sew it together. Yeah, so let me give that a whirl, guys. Ooh, but it'll look stunning, like I said, not with the outfit I'm wearing. <laughs> my little pasty white legs showing and my friggin' toenails that are horrible and because my daughter is an esthetician, but I can't go to her because she's cl closed, right? And you know, social distancing. And now sh they're moving to the UK and they sold their house and they gotta be, I think they gotta be out in their house in July. Oh my God, anyway. I don't even think they can get to the UK yet. Ooh, okay, anyway, back on, back on focus. Um, so anyway, I made this. Is this cute? You see it all? Look at that, guys. Now, I, what did I use for this? Oh, I used um, this, guys. And I think I bought this. I think I bought this. Or was I gifted this? I, th I have a feeling I bought this when I went on that silly Walmart shopping trip in where? Where do we go? Because I thought it was a Walmart super center. So I thought, oh my God, it's going to have a lot of yarn. Oh my God, it didn't have anything. Port, uh, Perry. Port Perry. Port Perry, Ontario, Canada. Uh, so anyway, this color is Sweet Dreams. And it is a number four weight yarn, right? Correct? Am I? Yes. Uh, all, these are four weights too. Is homespun? Oh, no way! This is a number five bulky. That's what they classify this one as, guys. Okay, no wonder you, you need a bigger hook to be using. I think when I tried once, I was using a small, like a 5.5 or something. Anyway, um, where am I? Uh, four. Um, yeah. So, I, and I think, I, I believe I have a picture of this when I started but this is called, this is called the Ring Around, Ring Around the Rosy Vest. And this is by a YouTube tutorial by Doriana Rivelli. And I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. Okay, no haters out there. I'm not going to lie. This tutorial was very confusing for me for me, okay? She kind of forgets to tell you to repeat row 20 for three more rows. And so you're watching it and all of a sudden she goes from row something to row 24 and luckily she had a written pattern, guys. So I was able to go to her written pattern because I'm getting so advanced now. Um, so I kind of went there again and I rewatched it again. I went to the pattern, written pattern again. Went and, uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, anyway, I figured it out. So what do you all think? It need it needs a it needs a little button, or maybe I'll just do a chain of. I'll, maybe I'll just because I do have some. This is how much yarn I have left from this. Um, maybe. Yeah, I could probably just do a chain of something and then have it as a little a little tie up, right? Yeah, I could do that, right? So I was had I had known see how see there guys. Yeah, I wish I wish I had. I'm just new at this whole color con look I no, I'm not new at color controlling. I have never done color controlling and I didn't know how much yarn I was gonna need and I was not hacking this stuff up and sewing in ends and all that busy whatever you do I don't know 
you attach it to your yarn stuff, right? I was not going there. But this would have looked so pretty if that little beginning thing had been one of these pops of color, eh? Yeah, I would have. But, let's, you know, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I'm not complaining. But do you see where I'm going with that? If that was a bright pop of color up here? Yeah. So that's what it is all about. It goes like this. Nike, I think it's really, really adorable. And uh, Crystal, um, Ricola, aka Crochet and stuff, that person never, that person never responded to me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, oh yeah, that's what I wrote down. This yarn here, guys, I freaking love the feeling of this yarn. I wish I had another ball to show it to you in person, but like I said, I'll attach a picture at the end. This, I wrote it down. Does anyone notice this yarn feels like it is dipped in candle wax? This stuff was so cool. The yarn, you know, and it doesn't feel like that now that it's made up. It actually feels stiff and I don't know. But when you're working with it, it feels so like candle wax. Like you're working that, you know what candle wax feels like? What's that feeling? Wax. So waxy and soft and subtle and yeah. It's, so I really like this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, maybe if I remember, I'll, I'll put somewhere there my shopping. Is that where I got it from? Or did one of you, did somebody give this to me? If I am, I'm sorry. Okay, so, okay, so, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I suggest going to the pattern for this because, oh, yeah, suddenly the video ends and I'm like, wait a minute, what do I do now? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I got, I, it was confusing. For me, guys, for me, like I said, I've only been crocheting like a year and, and what, year and six months? What? Whatever. So it was confusing for me. I'm not bashing her. Like, the, I think her, I think she did this way back in, I don't know what year. So I'm not bashing her. Don't get on my keys. Um, so what am I working on now? Well, I'm working on a Lisa Flop. I wanted to make this guy so badly because it's so pretty, but it's okay. It's actually okay because the yarn she uses is, oh crap. She used Lion Brand Scarfy yarn and I don't have that. And to me, the dress, you need that yarn because of the way the the yarn, I don't have it, so I can't show you what, what's going on. Um, the yarn, you guys know Landscape Scarfy. It, and I thought, well, I'll use, actually, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to use, um, what's this stuff? So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to use my Landscapes. This is gorgeous. Hello. Um, what is this called? Uh, Landscapes. But no. Uh, I, I Google. I went and I Googled, um, I say she used a uh, scarfy yarn and then I googled um you know an equivalent you know those things you can go online you can google you punch in the yarn a substitute a substitute a uh, lion brand was there but it, it this no this no um oh what is oh Steven show the camera look what he got oh I think you're too close are you what's going on am I in the way some sort of little moth or butterfly that got it. Do you need a white page on the back? No. They can see it? Yep. Look at that, guys. And let them out. Whew. Oh, a little bit of nature in my video today. He's free. He's free. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, okay. Maybe you want to know what the heck I'm talking about. Okay, this is a crochet tutorial by 
Wilma Westenberg, and it is called the Crochet Poncho Dress, and hers looks gorgeous. She's got a YouTube tutorial as well as then she has on her blog or vlog or wherever, website or whatever, um, the written pattern. And once again, I needed that for this tutorial as well because I got a little confused. I got so confused that I totally messed it up. Uh, so I have that. So I, I thought, you know what, I just want to try, just want to make it. But that yarn, like I was saying, um, what does that yarn do, guys? So let's pretend I had the burgundy and then it would, it would fade into black and fade. You know, it's a, a, is, that, is that what you call it? Fading yarn? I don't know. I'm just learning these words. Is it fading yarn that happens? Anyway, not like this because this would, this is like too much color happening, happening, happening. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so obviously this is going to be way too tiny for me. And, oh, anyway, I'll leave the link below. So this is supposed to be a dress, which should be, like, sitting on me here, Ooh, on my shoulders. But do you see how it's not going to work for me? Uh, things are popping out. <laughs> So I totally, totally messed up on some count somewhere because you're supposed to put your stitch marker and go and, and do your thing for 12, put in your stitch marker over 4 and then 12 and then 4 and well... Obviously, I screwed, I, I totally screwed up on this. I have way too many numbers. So now if I go do, this is the front panel. And now if I go do the back panel, well, I got like, uh, plus the four, the two four for my armpits. I've got 19 whole, 19 stitches. This is 12, because you're supposed to go in the 12 slots or whatever. Camera shut off. Okay, um, whatever I was saying, I have, uh, you just want to go into your 12 spots. And then, the, uh, whatever, I'm not even gonna bother telling you guys, cause I messed up. Totally messed up, but it's a beautiful dress. <laughs> if you wanna go check it out. So, yeah, I needed, I needed the, thankfully I needed the, the pattern as well for that one. Because she told she lost me on her tutorial as well. No, I am not uh, bad mouthing her. Uh, it's her. It's, what do you say? It's me, not you. Okay, I am on fire here, guys. Like totally, totally on fire. What am I working on now? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So that. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna get frogged because I'm sure I could. No, I'm just, I'm just over it because even the yarn itself, I'm not going to waste my time doing the back panel because for, you will see, if you go to this tutorial, you will see, you need that Lion Brand Scarfy yarn. And I am not about to buy it because I don't even think she tells you how much to use or how much you need. And then I got to figure out, obviously I'm not a small, I think I have to start making clothes in a large. But see, like I said, I always want to make a person's tutorial. I always want to make a person's tutorial in the size they make it. Because her small is her large. And her, do you know what I'm saying? And her medium is her extra, extra small. So I need to, I need to um, learn, learn my people the tutorials I'm following and learn what their, you know, what their sizing is. Cause even when you go, even like, uh, hello, can you seriously buy clothes for somebody else? No, you can't. And I'll tell you why. Because you go into one store and a size zero jeans is a size three somewhere else. Or, or then you go and it's like, oh, I'm a size three. And then you go into another store and it's like, oh my God, I'm a size 12. Or vice versa. It's like, why can't we all be on the same wavelength? Like, whatever happened to, why do we have to do this sizing thing when it comes to pants? Why can't you, why can't you buy 
And I know you probably can in some stores, but anyway, in most stores in Ontario, Canada, you have to know your size. And it's like, okay, well, I'm a size 3 here, but at that store, I'm a 12. So, anyway, why did I say that? Oh, yeah, so I want to learn that, my, you know, I, I, I need to, when I first began, I got to make their item as they do it and then go, okay, so I need to do this. Because even my... My stitches are off. And no, I don't do gauging. I don't understand it and I don't want to do it. Okay? <laughs> I'm sure one day I will get there, guys. But I just need to learn, learn, learn. Like, I just want to learn how to do something and go, oh, look what I made. Whether it fits me or not, I don't care. I just want to make it. Anyway, I'm rambling and bambling and all that jazzy jazz now. <sighs> Everybody have a good day. So, yeah. I got to go to work on Wednesday, and I am not looking forward to it. Uh, I can't breathe, guys. I got hyperventilate in that mask. Uh, and my doctor said, well, uh, well, like, you know, loosen up here. Well, you saw those guys. Those aren't the kind that you can loosen up. Those are those elastics. There's no loosening up here. Like, you know, it's, they're not the ties that you can untie this for the bottom. <gasps> and, my gl and those glasses. Big white glasses, you know, those big white friggin' things, like you're going, uh, snorkeling. They fog up. Oh, my God. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure. Madonna, hang on. You're getting a midnight text. You're getting a midnight text on Tuesday night. I'm going to be frantic. No, I'm not. I'll leave you alone. Okay. Okay, what am I making now, guys? I got so many things I want to make. Okay, bye.